What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about four different crypto mining stocks today. Yes, four. We're going to be talking about CleanSpark and Marathon for balloons. And we're going to talk about BitFarms for Tudora VRAM and Wolf for Shareful. And without any further ado, you guys, let's get into this. So looking at Marathon, looking at how it's doing right now. Um, it's not really a friendly week, is it? It's pretty decent volume, yet you didn't break out. Bigger wick than it is a candle. I am expecting you guys that that Bitcoin sees some kind of a pullback soon. I am uh, that that 64.1k top high that might be a more momentary high. And when I say more momentary, I mean for like months, like for a month. I mean like two months, three months, four months. You know, it it could be till like over. It, it could be until July that that high is taken out. I know a lot of people right now are looking at Bitcoin. Let's go to it real quick. I've pulled up Bitcoin in like every video tonight, so I already know what I'm going to say. But I know a lot of people are looking for Bitcoin to break these all-time highs right now. But the fact of the matter is, I just I don't think it's going to happen, man. We've never done that before a halving. To be fair, we've also never gotten this close to a previous all-time high before a halving either. Um, but I do think that this weekly uh, bearish divergence or this double top is going to promote some kind of more momentary uh, downside. Um, you know, something... Maybe not. Maybe not as long. I don't know. Maybe longer than this. I don't. I don't know. I really don't know how it's going to look. I would assume that it does take us down. We could even go below 50k. I, I think the lowest that I would give it would be like somewhere around uh, like a 20% drop. 20. I should say 20 to 25% drop. Let's see. Top to bottom here. That would give us prices anywhere from roughly 51k to 48k something like that and we could go lower it is possible but but that 48k level is like right above your 618 so maybe we do see a little bit more than a 25 percent maybe we see a 27 percent maybe that isn't the high and i need to adjust this uh for the new high that comes in but i don't know man we, we are at a previous area of resistance here weekly bearish divergence not confirmed it's presenting itself but it's not confirmed until we have a red week uh, the daily here, not really dying off. You're just consolidating kind of like you did here. I would kind of think that you see some kind of a pullback, though. I, I kind of would, honestly, but maybe you don't, man. You can, if you keep continuing, if you keep continuing, then my thoughts will change for the uh, the crypto mining stocks. And that's what makes this hard, man, is the chart to me, this looks bearish. This does look bearish. Looks like it wants to go lower. Where's it going to go? Based off of this, I would think that you would want to go to $20 to $19. But Bitcoin changes that, man. It, it adds a whole different twist to this. It's a nice little bounce you got off your 382. If you close above $28 on a daily basis, I will think you're going higher. If you close above $28 on a daily basis, not, good, not get above it, but close above it, I will think you're going higher. I'll start to at least. But for now, I think $20 to $19 is where I'm looking for this. But if Bitcoin does bullish things, man, that, that can change a lot. Um, can throw off everything, man. Um, Clean Spark also with a pretty solid downside. That bearish divergence has been fulfilled, in my opinion. You do have hidden bullish divergence. Let's look at this low to high here. I I would expect that you'd hit your 382, right? That $15 or $14, $30. You probably even go to these previous daily highs right here, um, based off of this kind of look. But again, at the weekly. The one thing that makes me think that we're going lower than that rather immediately is that, and I think we're going to go to this line here around 1190, is that if we take a weekly high close, not the opening close, that the red high is the opening close, right? Red candles, the close is on the bottom. That's why they're red. Uh, weekly high close here. Every time we've had the weekly high and we break above it, we find support on it. Weekly high, we break above it, we find support on it. Weekly high, we break above it. We have not found support on it yet, yet. Um, so I do think it's going to go lower. That's a pretty bearish weekly candle. A lot of volume, but a very big wick. It's not a good combination in my opinion, right? Even here, we didn't go that much lower, but even on this week where we closed, for how low we went, we went down 14%. From where we are now, where we closed, we went down 14%. I mean, that wouldn't take us down to the areas I'm looking for, but that would take us down to about like 1530. But I think we're going to go lower. I think absolutely we have another like 35% drop from here or so. Uh, and that's that's clean spark. Um, prove me wrong on that. You want to prove me wrong on that. Get a day to close. 
Nope, that's that's not right. Get a day to close above twenty dollars. Close above twenty, and I will be convinced that I'm wrong. Or just see Bitcoin break out to new all time highs. Then, <laughs> then it's all over. But the uh, but the upside at that point. Talking about Bit Farms. Talking about Bit Farms for Tudora Vram. Um, same thing, man. Bearish look on the uh, on the chart, in my opinion. The only thing making me hesitant to make bearish calls is Bitcoin right now. But we are very, very greedy, guys. We're at an 83 on the uh, crypto fear and greed index. It's the most, it's the most greed we've seen in a while, right? We take a year, and you can see it's the most greed we've seen in over a year. We take the max; it's a little bit more jumbled up, but it's the most greed that we've seen since we are at 84 here, November 2021. That was the height of the bull cycle. 83. That was an 84, right? So. Just saying, uh, and this thing even looks like it has its own trend, right? What makes fear going down? What makes greed going up? So here we are at like the top of this kind of channel, if you see it with your eyes, right? Going along with like this high point here to these highs. It's kind of like an ascending trend line, ascending trend line here. You probably come down. You probably do come down. And if you were to come down, if you were to see some fear, that would imply Bitcoin might dump. Watch, man, watch. Uh, I'm calling it right now. Watch there be some like crazy negative news that seems super bad, but it's really not that big of a deal. Like just just watch that. It's gonna happen in the next month, within the next week even, man. Like it's gonna happen soon. Maybe there's something wrong with miners. Maybe it's something with Bitcoin itself. Maybe, but probably it's nothing at all. Nothing nothing's wrong. There's just gonna be some kind of news story. Maybe someone gets hacked. I don't know. That's this is I'm saying this because there's that old saying, show me the charts and I'll tell you the news. Well, the charts are saying we are overextended. We're looking like we want to go down. I'm telling you the news without even knowing the news yet. The news is going to be bad. It's going to be some kind of bad news, but ultimately it won't matter. It won't be detrimental bad news. It'll be, you know, it's not going to send us down there. I could, but I doubt it. Anyways, back to the TA, man. Bit farms, close below your 382. Um, that does encourage me to believe that you'll see your 61869, which is anywhere from about two dollars fifty cents to two dollars thirty eight cents somewhere down there for bit farms and to finish this bad boy up with wolf oh man i love wolf i love wolf i definitely do very tight wound right now you could move a little lower sure sure you could maybe around a dollar thirty you could still the price risk of running down to about a dollar is still there I'm just less convinced of it now. But I would say a dollar thirty sounds about right to me, man. A dollar thirty is probably where you want to go. Yeah. Yep. And again, all of these charts, man, they look a little bit more bearish in my opinion, uh, for the more immediate term, but bullish in the very long term, right? Very bullish for the long term. And Bitcoin itself is the one thing that can flip these things. If Bitcoin and don't get me wrong, guys, we've seen it where I mean Bitcoin moved up. 4% in a day and clean spark dropped like 16% that day. Like that literally happened this past week. Okay. It can happen, but something tells me if Bitcoin's at new all time highs before the halving, um, we're probably going to see the miners move up. That's, that's my best guess right there. You know, call it a guess, call it an educated guess, whatever you want. Maybe that'll be wrong too. I don't know. That's not a good look on Wolfman, actually. I really don't like I do. I really think that that uh, dollar fifty to dollar thirty area is where you're going. Potentially back to a dollar even. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.